Matthew Holt, another TXCB quick bite. This is Kristen Herrera. She is the head of the health plan business for Accolade, which is maybe a navigator company, maybe not, depending who you're talking to. We've had some fun uh, on TXCB uh, uh, in the past about that. But uh, Kristen, uh, so first up, Accolade's changed quite a lot, and you actually came from an acquisition, a second MD. So talk a little bit about what is inside Accolade now and what does Accolade do? Thanks so much, Matthew. Great to be with you. I did come from the Legacy Second MD company. We are so excited to bring together our personalized healthcare approach. We're really creating an opportunity for employers and health plans to leverage the best that we have in terms of virtual first primary care on a platform that really helps to engage people three to five, three to five times more than in the traditional healthcare models. Uh, the fact that we're able to connect people with primary care uh, physicians virtually that integrate mental health care, access to elite level specialists to weigh in on their care. We're really transforming the way care happens and making it much more accessible to members and far easier to get the right health care the first time through our platform. Right. Uh, that, that all sounds great. What is in Accolade and what are you, sort of, uh, we, we, we are so chanting and under your medical director talk about distributed care. What are you doing? What, how are you working with other people? So you bought Second NB, you bought Plush Care, you obviously have the legacy Navigator business. Um, how does that all work together? And you mentioned mental health. You guys didn't actually buy a mental health com- company. So what are you putting together from other people as well? Yeah, so our platform allows us to integrate seamlessly both the acquired assets and through ecosystem partners, and that platform really makes it easy for, at the primary care physician level and at the member level, for us to view all the benefits and services they have access to and getting members where they need to go directly. So that platform has some interoperability with our vendor partners, and clearly we've already done the integration through Plush Care and through Second MD, uh, making it really easy for members to access the services that they need. And what we're seeing is that employers love the ability to have one place to call where we have access to medical records, claims data, real-time information through AI, and access to all the programs so that members, all they need to know is the accolade number, and then we navigate them to where they need to go in their health system. And what we're seeing is health plans are leaning in and seeing accolade as a way to drive better engagement into their clinic clinical programs uh, because they've struggled uh, with engagement in the past. So let's talk about that that nexus, right? Because uh, typic- people typically think, oh, I have a, you know, I have a primary care doctor and, I, and, and that, put, that, that practice is sort of managing me. We know it hasn't worked traditionally very well. Right. But how do, you, how do your team, your, your, your advocates, how do they work with the traditional healthcare system? You know, is it, are, you, are you going around them now? Are you working with them? Is it a combination of both? How does that all work out? It's absolutely a collaborative care model. We, we believe that virtual first care is the future of care. And if you think about the model of your primary care physician as your quarterback of care is exactly what our virtual first model is. That primary care physician has access not just to their medical records, but the medical records of the member across the delivery system. That uh, primary care physician has access to a health assistant who is going to follow up with the member after their visit and make sure they're taking their medication, getting to that specialist visit, getting an expert medical opinion if they need it. So we've really digitized that primary care is the quarterback of your care model through our platform. And yes, bricks and mortar is still very much part of the delivery system today and our health assistants do reach out, they help members schedule appointments and they really create a connected care environment in a highly personalized way for our members. So. Uh, you have now your own virtual primary care team in house. You know, do. do that, but obviously, but how many of the members that you're servicing are you know using that as their first order of doctor compared to you're having to work with primary, you know, either primary care or the other doctors in the community, or maybe no primary care of, of any kind. So, uh, what's the rough breakdown? And how are you managing to get more people onto that model? Yeah, I think it's it's a great question. That's an emerging area for us, and we're actually speaking later today with Priority Health, who's uh, working with us on a virtual first plan design that they're launching in market right now. So I think we're going to see a tremendous amount of growth in the next 12 months with health plans uh, and uh, employers alike who really want to adopt a virtual first health plan care plan. I think what we're going to see is high deductible uh, health plans move away and virtual first care plans are here to stay. More accessible, more affordable, easier for members to get in the front door and then have access to all the programs and services that will help them stay healthy and get healthy. So, uh, big picture question, you've been doing this for Raleigh, we were at United a while back. 
There, um, we've had a lot, of talk, a lot of conversations this morning about the infrastructure and the organizations that may or may not be sort of rolling out these new decentralized care models and getting the people where they are and all this sort of great stuff. We know that's not what the healthcare system has traditionally been. Who do you think, do you think an accolade is an organization that's going to do that? Do you think accolade will be working for new types of organizations to do that? Do you think it'll come from an Amazon or out of the system? Do you think United will, an Optum will figure it out? Or do you think, you know, the government will do it? Or do you think nobody will do it? Where, where do you think that's going to come from to change the healthcare system? I think it's going to take all of us, Matthew. I really do. I think we've all sat in silos for too long thinking we can do it ourselves. And what we're seeing in collaboration with health plans, we're better together with health plans. We're better together with health systems. Priority Health is an interesting one. They are owned and operated by two health systems. So I think it's going to take all of us coming together to solve this fragmented challenge uh, in healthcare that we have today, and I'm, I'm excited about the future. We shall be sitting around the campfire saying, come by, yeah. I've been talking to Kristen Herrera, the uh, head of health plans at Ackley. Thanks, Kristen. Thank you.